Another example of the Senate gone bad, I'm Brian Lilly with the Rebel.media. Senator Crazy Pants is at it again. Maybe it's mean to call her that, but that's what I think of Senator Céline Hervieux-Payette. Uh, this is a woman who a few weeks ago was writing about being spooked by armed guards on Parliament Hill. Now she wants to pretty much ban all guns in Canada. If you aren't familiar with Senator Crazy Pants, let me tell you a little bit about her. She was a Liberal MP starting in 1979 when she was first elected until 1984. She was serving under Pierre Trudeau, even had some minor cabinet roles. She lost in 84, she ran and lost again in 88 and 93, before Jean Chrétien took pity on her and put her, put her in the Senate in 95. What has she accomplished? Like most senators, not much. But this is a woman who's campaigned for years to ban not only spanking, but says interactions between parents and children should be treated the same as interactions between any two adults. What does that mean? Well, in practical terms, it means that she thinks parents should face jail time for picking up their screaming temper tantrum two-year-old and strapping them into the minivan when it's time to leave the park. Because I couldn't pick up a crying adult, force them into my car, that would be kidnapping. Well, shortly after the terrorist attack on Parliament Hill last October, she began writing about her experience that day. She wrote of the way the building was cleared and inspected as police looked to see if there were more armed gunmen in the building after Michael Zihaf Biba was shot. She says that she and her staff were sent from their office to another office under armed guard. Quote, it's hot. I can't breathe. Fortunately, there's a water fountain. I asked the security guard who is monitoring comings and goings and keeping us under guard if we can open a window. The military police, who have clearly taken control of Parliament, say, it's okay. I sit near the open window. I'm breathing, but stunned. Parliamentarians are under the command of the military. Parliament is in the hands of the armed forces. No, no fine, Senator. Those were police. Police in tactical gear. Police trying to make sure that you and your staff and the many other people on Parliament Hill were safe immediately after a terrorist attack. Since that attack, there's been an increased security presence on the Hill, more guards, more procedures. And this is something that alarms the senator. She said so in a letter addressed to the speakers of the House and the Senate. Their offices are responsible for security operations on the Hill. Here's what she said to them. Every time I enter the Senate chamber, I see two armed police officers at the door, one with a handgun, the other with an automatic firearm. I must admit that this does not make me feel safe. On the contrary, I am frightened by the thought that a police officer armed with an automatic weapon could shoot it on the hill. Hmm. I've walked through the doors of Parliament, the Senate, the center block doors. I've walked through all of them countless times since October 22nd. I have not seen the automatic weapon she speaks of. I even went looking today, spoke to the guards. They're not walking around with automatic weapons. And she then implies that innocent people will die because of these automatic firearms on the hill. She said, I remind you of the incident of October 22nd when the intruder, not a terrorist, was shot by Sergeant at Arms Kevin Vickers in full view of the many RCMP officers stationed on the hill. I would ask that you stop endorsing violence by having heavily armed police officers on site at all times. Actually, we know that Zihaf Bibo was shot many times, not a single magic bullet from Vickers, but plenty of bullets, including from those armed RCMP officers. The senator ends the letter by complaining about the undue influence of the firearms lobby with the current government, as if that could possibly have anything to do with the Mounties being a bit more vigilant in the days after a terrorist attack. Well, now, Senator Hervieux Payette is calling for what she describes as a gun ban on any gun not used for hunting. She's introduced a bill, a bill with no hope of passing, called, uh, well, Strengthening Canadian Security and Promoting Hunting and Recreational Shooting Act. It's a misnomer to be sure. Here's what the bill proposes. Overhaul the current firearms program by prohibiting all firearms in Canada except hunting firearms. Redefine the three classes of firearms by making all firearms illegal except hunting firearms by localizing the prohibition of restricted firearms. Limit the definition of hunting firearms to the arms that really... Uh, I'm sorry, this is in her text, really used for the purposes of hunting. Replace restricted firearms class with a circumscribed firearms class, and the arms of this class will only be usable at or in shooting clubs. Replace the registration certificate with an inscription certificate. Reinforce the role of the RCMP and the Commissioner of Firearms under a statutory provision. Limit the transport of circumscribed firearms to transporters, thus controlling the movement of firearms in Canada. 
And then finally, she says she wants to undo all the provisions of C-42, except the prohibition on obtaining a license to possess and acquire, arm, acquire firearms following a domestic violence conviction. Like I said, this bill has no hope of passing, no hope of getting out of the Senate, just like her spanking bill. But it does show you how out of touch with reality and Canadian society this woman is. But here's the good news. There is some good news here. Next year, she turns 75. It happens on April 22nd, and then we, the Canadian public, will be done with her, at least as a drain on the Senate payroll. She may not have been on the auditor's report for messing with expenses, and that's a good thing. But this senator, who has sat for 20 years in the upper chamber, all because she was a failed liberal candidate, is one of the prime examples of why the Senate needs to be reformed or abolished.